Hey, hey, what's going on, Dust Collectors? It is I, Nikolai Tedeschi, bringing you another video. And today I am excited to announce this brand new video series that I am doing called The Hardest Toy Story Quiz, hosted by yours truly. So how this quiz session is going to work is each video I'm going to bring in one special guest to ask them the hardest Toy Story questions out of all the movies and all of the tunes, the shorts, whatever you guys want to call them. So for the guest debut, of course I had to bring in my boy, Cinema Toy Box, my business partner, my neighbor. It's only fitting that he is in the first video. And and the next video, I might actually be bringing in David from Today I Grew Up. We're still in the works right now, but that one should be a really fun one as well for episode two. But for episode one, we're quizzing Cinema Toy Box on his Toy Story knowledge. These were super, super fun questions to come up with for him, and hopefully he gets 100%. I'll explain the rules again when he comes into the live here to talk to me about it. But if you at least get a 70% or up, you pass. It's just like school, guys. You get tested. <laughs> man, it's been a long time since I've uh, had a real test. But um, yeah, let's bring in the man and start asking him these hard questions. I can't wait. All right, guys, here we are on the first ever Hardest Toy Story Quiz with special guest Cinema Toy Box. You know how to start the series off with you, man. You're the guy, you're the business partner, you're the neighbor. You're the, you're the bestie, bro, okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. How well do you think you're going to do? What, what do you, I'm asking, I'm going to give you 20 questions. 20 questions. I think I'm going to do extremely average. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I'm, I'm hoping you're going to get at least like an 80%. You know, anything 70 and up is passing. So I All got right. to do the math She's on that. get degrees, so. bro. Let's go. Yes, let's do it. Okay. So the first question I have for you, it's kind of an easy one, all right? It's uh, in Toy Story 1, what color is Andy's mom's car, bro? Okay, that's blue. It's like a it's like a baby blue. Yeah, exactly. There you go. You got those pieces. Yes, sir. <laughs> first one, he got it right, guys. Perfect. <laughs> question number two. How old, is Andy, how old does Andy turn in Toy Story 1 on his birthday? Oh, my God. It says it? In the, in the wiki, it does, yeah. Oh my lanta. Uh yeah. Mm, Take a wild guess too. Six? Six is actually right, yes. <laughs> it is, bro. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> that was wow. good. That was a good guess, bro. That was good. No, I didn't guess. I knew that. Oh, okay. Yeah. He knew that, guys. He knew that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Question number three. In Toy Story 1, who knocks the baby monitor off the bedside table? Uh, it's uh, Rex. Correct. Yes. Dude, I'm Rex, guys. killing it, dude. Three in a row, bro. Yes. The big lizard now will never know what it is. That's exactly. it. Exactly. See, he knows the quotes, too. Okay. <laughs> Question number four. In Toy Story 3, what is the name of the room at the Sunnyside Daycare that Andy's toys were put in? The name of the room, it's the uh, Butterfly Room. Final answer? The Caterpillar Room. Okay, yes. <laughs> Here's where you folks will be staying. The Caterpillar Room. Is the Butterfly one of the rooms? Yes, it is. Okay, but okay. Right, caterpillar right. is correct, yes. Okay, um, cool. nice. Question number five. Here we go. In the opening of Toy Story 4, name all of Andy's toys that go into Molly's room to help save RC. Oh, geez. All of the toys or like even the Barbies? Not the Barbies, those are Molly's toys, just Andy's toys. Oh, Andy's toys, right, you did say that. Okay, so we got Jesse, we got Woody, we got Buzz, we got Slinky. I think that's it for Andy's toys. Bo Peep, but that's Molly's. So I think that's it right there. Final answer? Lock it in, dude. And wait, lock it in. Okay, that is unfortunately not correct. You got four, you got them all right. You got four of them all right, but you're missing the barrel of monkeys. Buzz, Slink, Molly's room. The rest of you, stay put. I forgot those are actually like toys and not just like <laughs> inanimate objects that they play with. <laughs> right? All right, first one down, no biggie. You're doing good so far. All right, all right. Um, question number six. Who is Mr. Potato Head's moving buddy in Toy Story 1? Rex. You got it. You got it, bro. How did I get stuck <laughs> with you as a moving buddy? Okay, question number seven for you. 
What is the name of the crane game in Toy Story 1? Uh, is it not just the claw? Claw machine? Uh, space claw? Yeah, I don't know. You're close. I'll give you that. It's the only hint I'll give you. S so space claw is close. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Now I got nothing, dude. <laughs> Oh, sure. Okay. Yeah, I got it. I, I don't know. Dude. Space Claw, man. It's, uh, I don't even know. I didn't even know there was a freaking name, dude. Yeah, it's a name right on the machine there. Um, fortunately, I was incorrect. It is Space Crane. Oh, my land. That was so close, dude. <laughs> All right. Fair, fair. That's, uh, fair, that's, fair. Uh, yeah. Question number eight. What is engraved on the inside of the lid of Buzz's wrist communicator? Oh, my land. Uh, the inside of Buzz's wrist communicator. Uh, I'm, I want to say Space Ranger or like Star Command, perhaps. I'm going to say... Uh, oh, it's an oxygen gauge. Is it an oxygen gauge? Isn't it an oxygen gauge? No hints. <laughs> Bro, I'm going to go with the oxygen gauge. Final answer? That's final answer, dude. Unfortunately, you are incorrect, buddy. <laughs> it is made in Taiwan. <laughs> oh, my land. But there is an oxygen oxygen gauge in there, right? Yes. I'm not crazy. Okay. But, uh, that wasn't engraved in it, though. It was a sticker. Oh, engraved. I was thinking stickers, dude. <laughs> All right. That was a good one. You stumped good me. One, bro. I got you. I'm scared, dude. I'm scared. Okay, question number nine. Explain to me why the Woody's Roundup TV show was canceled. Once the astronauts went up, children only wanted to play with space toys. Yes. And why was it? What what was the what was the space toy theme? What was Sputnik? Yes, exactly. That's what it is, buddy. Sputnik. Yes. Sputnik. Once the astronauts went up, children only wanted to play with space toys. Okay, question number 10. Which one of Bonnie's toys was not featured in Toy Story 4? Oh. Well, was this toy in Toy Story 3? Yes. It was. Oh, wait. Was it that one that was due to, like, copyright stuff? Oh. I need a name. Oh, my God, dude. I don't... Oh, jeez. Toy Story 4, my freaking least favorite. You think I'm going to know this? <laughs> uh, yeah, bro. Come on. Oh, man. Can I phone a friend? Oh, me? <laughs> well, Skeets no. is right there. Skeets, get over. Which, uh, which toy uh, in Toy Story 3 was not in Toy Story 4? Bonnie's toys. I'm phoning a friend, boys. Using a lifeline. Yeah, you get one hit from her and that's it. No huh? asking for questions after. Yeah. Yeah, a Bonnie's, there's a Bonnie's toy that apparently was in Toy Story 3. Oh. Baron Von Shush. No, that's that's Prickle Pants. Baron Von. Yeah. <laughs> oh shoot. I'm gonna give you yeah. ten seconds. I got ten seconds, keys. <laughs> One, two. It's it, there was a copyright three, issue. Four. Oh shoot. Five. Six. Uh, is it? No, it's not the seven, peas. Eight, not the peas. Nine. <laughs> you get that reference. Ten. Yeah, the piece. All right. Hit me with something. I got the piece. <laughs> Unfortunately, you are incorrect. <laughs> it is Totoro. That's his name. Totoro. What? Don't even know. The heck's a Totoro? Oh, you are right. He was not in the fourth movie due to the it's copyright. A what? Oh, it's that goofy looking thing, right? It's that the big stuff. bunny thing on my on my top shelf. I have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dang, dude, I wouldn't have right. gotten that. You were close, bro. You knew, you knew though. <laughs> I was like, there's something, dude. You're the one who told me about it too, I think. I, I, I'm pretty sure I was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you were, yeah. Mm -hmm. Question number 11 for you. In Toy Story 2, name all three prices that Al offers Andy's mom for Woody during the yard sale. He says three prices. I know. Three prices for Woody. Yes. Uh, 50 bucks is one of them. Okay. Oh, jeez. Well, he's like, oh, I'll give you 50 cents for all this junk. So 50 cents. Yes. Okay. 
And then he's like, and he like mumbles it. It's not even like highlighted really. He's like, uh, some something. He does uh, say something while the toys are talking, but then it says it near the end after the toys are done talking what he says with the second prices. Second price. Okay, 50 cents, 50 bucks. What a jump right there, dude. There's uh, something in the middle. I'll give you that hint too. <laughs> 20. Final answer? Yeah. Unfortunately, you're incorrect, buddy. <laughs> um, I'm freaking it bombing is, over your skeets. It is $5. 50 cents for all this junk. $5. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll give you 50 bucks for it. It's okay. it's okay. You got two out of the three, but I'm still going to count you wrong. <laughs> Question number 12. In Toy Story 1... What is the first gift that Andy gets for his birthday? Oh, a lunchbox, right? Yes, wait, sir. wait. <laughs> it is. It is. Yes. Andy's opening the first present. It's it's a a lunchbox. We've got a lunchbox here. A lunchbox. A lunchbox. For lunch. Okay. Question number thirteen. At the end of Toy Story two, when the toys return from the airport, what is the name that Andy gives Jesse? Bazooka Jane and her jet propelled horse. It's Bazooka Final Jane. Answer. Hell yeah, get it, get it, dude. It is, bro. You are correct. Yeah. New toys. Cool. Thanks, Mom. It's Bazooka Jane and her jet propelled horse. Okay. Question number 14. What breed of dog is Scud? Uh, breed of dog is Scud. He looks like he looks like a pit bull. Yeah, Pitbull. Um, I'm gonna ask the audience here. <laughs> you get one more lifeline, my... buddy. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's fair. Three lifelines. I used one. Here's my second. I'm asking the audience. I think he's a Pitbull, right? What is? Does it say in the movie? No. Oh my God! It doesn't say in the movie. It's just like <laughs> a, it's like a lure. Some kind of what's. Uh, Pitbull Terrier. Oh, Pitbull Terrier. No. Uh, I didn't know that. Mm, I'm, you know what? I think I'm just going to go with Pitbull. Final answer? A German Short Hair Pointer? German Short Hair Pointer. I don't know. <laughs> okay, Nick laughed. That's probably not it. Uh, I'm going to go with no, I've never heard of that dog before, so. <laughs> okay, Pitbull. Lock me in, bro. Final answer. I'm going to give it to you. It is Pitbull Terrier. So I'll, oh, I'll, I'll give it was right. To you. She said, she said, no, wait, wait. When you said Pitbull Terrier, you were oh, right. Yeah. Oh, see, I have a theory because there's all kinds of them. That's the whole something's on the terrier. Okay. All right. All right. That's a, <laughs> it's funny because Skeets was like, that's some kind of terrier. And I'm like, Pitbull Terrier? Didn't I say that right? Like you, you said, yeah, you said Pitbull Terrier, but. On here it just says bull terrier, but it's bull pit bull. So I'll I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. All right, all right, well, okay, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. okay. Question number fifteen for you. Fifteen out twenty, baby. In Toy Story Four, what is the name of the restaurant where Bonnie's family stops to eat during their road trip? Oh my God! The restaurant they stop at. The, I didn't even know they were at a restaurant. I thought it was a gas station, dude. Gas they went station. to the rest. They went to the restaurant after the gas station scene. I literally have zero idea, not even the slightest. So you're just going to have to give it, Skep, say it's wrong. No freaking clue. Okay. <laughs> it is Poultry Palace. Also no also featured in, in the Small Fry short, that same restaurant. Mm. Mm, would not have known that. Okay. All right. Question 16. In Toy Story 4, what color is the button that Buzz Lightyear presses to hear his inner voice? Out of the three buttons he has, which one is, is he doing? I have a 33% chance of getting this just by guessing. <laughs> uh, I don't even know what order his buttons are now. Hold on, let me uh, Google search this. I'm going to use my last <laughs> lifeline to Google search. <laughs> it's like it's the, the three basic one. colors. You don't remember? Come on. But I don't know the order. It's like green, red, and blue, but uh, I'm going to go with the green. Final answer. Final answer. Final okay. answer. That is incorrect. It is the red one. Oh, my Lanta. 
Dude, we got to see who gets the highest score. I, I, my money's on David who's going to get the highest score. I don't know. He's got some hard questions. I already came up with them for him. We'll see. Oh. But um, question 17. In Toy Story 1, name every toy that works out with Buzz during the Strange Thing sequence. Every toy? Every toy. Um, well, Potato Head, Rex, Snake. Robot guy's technically included. He's the treadmill. The, um, uh, oh, uh, Rock, Rocky, Gibraltar. Mm -hmm. I kind of think that's it. Final answer? Yes. Okay, that is incorrect. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so we got Rocky Gibraltar lifting the weights. That's the first guy we see. The next him, Snake. You know, he's doing it with his mouth. Right, I did say Snake. Um, troll, the troll doll is there. Oh my lanta, the freaking troll! But he he just he just he's just standing there with the weight next to him. Um, then you got Mister Spell showing Buzz Lightyear the calorie count while he's running on uh, robot. He's true. running on robot too. And then Mister Potato Head, um, he's. Well, I did say the robot. I said he was the treadmill. Yeah, you said robot. Um, and then we had um, uh, yeah, Mister Potato Head. He pulls his arms off, and then Rex is doing it too. Okay. Question 18, brother. A few. <laughs> you only missed a All few, right. dude. All right. Question number 18. In Toy Story 3, when the daycare kids come back into the classroom after recess, which toy is the second to get grabbed off of the floor? <laughs> Remember when they barge in and they start grabbing them? Second toy. Yeah, I'm trying to remember that scene. <laughs> I'm just going to guess Slinky. Final answer? That is incorrect, buddy. <laughs> it is the alien. <laughs> it is one of the aliens. Son of a gun, dude. Son of a I gun, bro. I remember the aliens in that scene. <laughs> okay, right, question 19. Let's go. Let's go, dude. Let's go. In Toy Story 4, your favorite movie, what is the name of the little girl in the antique store that rejected Gabby Gabby? My, oh man, she calls her like my sweet blah, blah, blah. She says her name multiple times. It's not Annabelle, I don't think. Oh. <laughs> what what lifelines do I have left? I'll give you one more, bro. <laughs> well, what's the lifeline? Do I need to phone a friend? Skeets, get phone. your phone ready. Okay. Get your phone ready. I'm calling you. What's what's the all right? My last lifeline here. Last lifeline. Last lifeline, bro. You... What's the name of the girl that Gabby Gabby's obsessed with? Harmony. What? Harmony. Harmony. Final answer. That is final answer. That is correct. <laughs> that is correct. Harmony. All right, last question for you, dude. All right, last one. Last, last question. question. What is the name of the toy repairman who fixes Woody in Toy Story 2? Oh, he has a name? <laughs> he has a name, oh, brother. It's, it's not Old Man Jenkins? No. He's the guy who plays chess. Yes. The, the old man who plays chess with himself in the Pixar short. He has a name. It's not Roger. Or Melman. It's not Melman. Melman. Oh, he has a name, dude. Like, is it mentioned in the movie? Nope. <laughs> oh my god, of course it's not mentioned <laughs> in the movie, dude. Um, uh Bob? <laughs> Bob. Final answer? It's it's a pretty mm. silly uh, it's a pretty silly name. I'll give you that. It's a silly name. Oh, it's a silly name, mm -hmm. and it's not Old Man Jenkins. No, I don't know, man. I don't think I got a seventy percent on this, Skeets. I don't. I don't <laughs> know. I don't know. All right, final answer is I don't know. Yeah. His freaking name is. 
<laughs> Mr. Fix-It. <laughs> Mr. Fix-It? Are you kidding me? That's not even a real name. It's <laughs> like a nickname, bro. Oh, my. Lord. But in the, he, is, he is featured in that short as well. Um, and that short is called Gary's Game. So we could call it Mr. Gary Fix-It, I guess. <laughs> Uh, well, I didn't get it right either way, but he could it could have been Gary, could have been Mr. Fix It. One of those, bro. So how do you think you did? I got your score ready, ready and waiting right here. Yeah, uh, 65%. Unfortunately, you got a 45%. You fail. Oh. I got a 45. Are you serious? Out of the 20 questions, you got nine correct and eleven incorrect. Whoa. Skeets. Hey guys, it's Post Nikolai, and um, apparently I cannot count because Josh actually got 10 correct and 10 incorrect, so he actually gets a 50%. I don't know why I couldn't count last night. He was kind of in a rush. I was kind of in a rush, so numbers jumbled with me in a rush just doesn't work out together. So Josh, you actually got a 50%, brother, not a 45%. Unfortunately, um, it's not an F minus anymore. It is an F. But uh, you still failed, buddy, so better luck next time. So 50% for Josh, Cinema Toy Box. He got 10 right, 10 wrong. Not bad for his first hard Toy Story quiz. Yikes. Yikes, bro. Better luck even, next time. <laughs> I don't even think I've seen Toy Story. You know what? Now that I think about it. I don't think you have, bro. You're a fake fan, dude. He's like, yeah, you're, you're, you're done. You're done. <laughs> wow. Um, so that being said, I mean, thank you so much for joining me on our first ever hard Toy Story quiz, bro. Yeah, that was um, good. Thank you for that being my fun. special guest, bro. You know, yeah. uh, next week we're going to hit David up and uh, do the same thing. Uh, maybe he'll do worse or better. You know, what do you think? Well, you think he'll do worse? My guess is he'll do better. Do better. Okay. And uh, good luck, David. Good luck, it's David. No we'll see you next week. It's very difficult. <laughs> Thank you, Cinema Toy Box, for coming out and uh, talk to you again soon, brother. Yes, sir. Peace. <laughs> All right, so unfortunately, yeah, Cinema Toy Box failed. But hey, it's all good. I'm sure I'll bring him back for a redemption video. But like I said, David from Today I Grew Up will be the next guest in episode two. If you guys like this new series, please, please let me know down in the comments below. If you have any questions for me, make them hard. This is the hardest Toy Story quiz. Make sure to actually message me on my Instagram at Nikolai Tedeschi. Your question and your answer. It must be correct. I will go back to double check and make sure that it is correct and we can add that to the list. Also guys, let me know down in the comments how many of these questions that you got right. And don't lie about it either, okay? Be honest. I want to know how many of these you guys got correct. After I do the video with David, I'm not sure who I want to bring on in the next video. So if you guys have any suggestions, any recommendations, who you want to see in episode three of the Hardest Toy Story Quiz, please let me know. I'm actually thinking maybe Junior Felix. I think I'll bring in Junior Felix for episode three. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's do that. Episode four, let me know though, guys, who we should bring on to the quiz. Again, if you guys like this video, please let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe to me, subscribe to Cinema Toy Box as well. Buy our amazing merch at collectorstoychest.shop. This was super fun and we will see you in the next video, guys. Okay, bye.